How is sex determined in turtles? Turtles and most reptiles have a different way of figuring out the gender of their offspring. Turtle eggs go through what we call environmental mechanisms of sex determination, or ESD. And basically it's just the environment determining if you become a boy or a girl. In biology, there are many ways that nature can decide which sex you will become. You can leave it up to chance, as is the case with humans. We call this genetic sex determination, or GSD. Or you can let chemicals lead the way. For example, Daphnia, a water flea, morphs into a creature with a helmet and longer tail when exposed to chemicals given off from predators. This is to hopefully escape them. Or my personal favorite, temperature. Most reptiles and some fish leave the determining work to temperature. During critical periods of incubation, depending on the temperature of the embryo, it will either become a boy or a girl. One of the common trends among temperature dependent species is that the larger sex is produced when the temperature is high. The logic behind this is that metabolic processes increase with increased temperature. And what I mean by this is that a process that goes on in your body, like the assimilation of energy, will occur more quickly if the molecules involved aren't rigid from the cold. This being one of the many reasons we like to keep our bodies at 37 degrees Celsius. Think about it. When an organism freezes to death, what is actually happening? Well, most likely, the fluids that need to circulate the body, like blood, become too viscous and can't anymore. But the question is, why do you want to produce the larger sex when it's warmer? The answer lies in the fact that eggs are generally quite vulnerable. In most cases, they're sitting ducks. It is then rational that those eggs want to hatch and get out of there as soon as possible. So if the temperature permits, why not produce a larger sex? It won't take as long. Another cool adaptive purpose of TSD is that since eggs are usually in a similar environment, most of the resulting genders are usually the same, diminishing the chances of inbreeding leading to stronger and more diverse genes. However, some say it's actually maladaptive, even going as far as saying that, along with other factors, it may have helped kill off some of the oldest reptiles. Hey guys, that was this week's episode of Bioblast. Leave your insults, comments, and questions in the comment section below, and don't forget to stay tuned by subscribing.